I found it. I was certain I had ordered a circulating fan kit, and I had. Um, I just set it off to the side when I was starting to set up the incubator. Um, so, I was going to show you how this thing installs. It's like the rest of the stuff. I mean, it's, it's made for dummies, which is great. Um, it just comes, it just got this little fan. I mean, it's just a little cheapo, like, computer fan, basically. And it's got some elastic or some uh, sticky tape on the back of it that is not just for mounting, although it seems to actually work pretty good for mounting. Um, but what it's actually got is there's a screw right there. Whoopsie. That, I guess it's the second screw down there, closer to the red on the bottom. And the hole is already pre-drilled in the lid because if you don't have the circulating air kit, um, those holes are already in the lid to help get just general air flow. Um, so the hole's already there. The directions say you need to poke a hole or drill a hole, but you don't need to, at least not with this kit. Um, so you just slap your fan on there so it lines up centered, and then it's got that screw and washer that goes through the backside, snug it down. I just did it basically hand tight and using my pocket knife, so it's not super tight, didn't use a screwdriver. But next up, we've got your two lead wires. This thing is designed so the fan runs 24 seven. And so all we gotta do here is I've got two wires, which appear to be non-unique. So being the semi-electrician that I am, one of these has to go to my hot lead and one has to go to my neutral. So let me figure that out on the wires here. My directions tell me, but I'm gonna set my camera down, look at it, and then I'll tell you guys. Okay, so I cut that little zip tie that was holding it all together because I couldn't see anything, but as per the directions, it's super easy. Locate your incoming power wire. There's actually a lot going on. Your wire comes in and then it goes to your thermostat. It also goes to your light and of course it goes to your heating element so that it tells you if the thermostat calls for heat, it kicks the heating element on and it tells the light to turn on. Well, we're gonna tap into that same incoming power supply to have our fan be on all the time. Um, I was sitting there thinking in my mind, oh man, I gotta make sure I connect the, the right wire to the right wire, but really it doesn't matter. You've got two wires coming into your heating element, and they are also, or two wires coming into the delayed here, and they're not really labeled with anything either as hot or cold. And it doesn't really matter because neither of these. So just connect one to one, and it'll be fine. So here's my incoming power wire here, and I've got this wire jumps over to the thermostat, and this wire jumps directly to the um, heating element. So I'm just going to tap into both of these. They send these little kind of quick clip deals and you just snip them onto the wire and they actually they cut through the insulation to make an automatic connection for the wire um, and then you're able to hook your um, hook your probes on this wire directly into it so let me get that hooked up okay doke. so I got the quick connects on and I got the cords plugged into them those little quick connects they they put up a good fight little spring loaded suckers they were popping all over the place trying to get them put in but I uh, had to get a pretty good bite on them with the pliers to actually smash them because, of course, when you do, they're having to cut through the rubber insulation to make contact with the wire inside. Um, but when they do, uh, as they close and lock, they automatically create a little pin slot, and then your your probe here just slides back on. So since I'd had to cut that zip tie, luckily I had plenty of um, wire ties that they had sent with the, that were on all the wires and stuff and all the kits. So just grabbed one of those, wrapped it back up around everything, kind of keep it all together and snug. Um, but uh, that should do it. I'm gonna get her plugged in here and hopefully the fan kicks on. Yay, good deal, it's on. You can tell because of course it's spinning and you can't read the label that's on there anymore that says circulated air fan kit. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, it's real quiet though, which is nice because it gets quiet like a computer fan. I can feel a little breeze actually coming out of there. Um, as soon as I plugged it in, I heard it kick on, so that made me happy. Anyway, I'm gonna get her closed up here and uh, get my thermostat turned back up and uh, get this puppy warming up.